Hello, hello, happy, happy. I almost said Tuesday, but it is Wednesday. And man, oh man, Rachel is behind the camera today and we're going to do a really fun, fun project. But before we get started, let me introduce myself and I want you guys to let us know where you're visiting from, if you're working on any craft projects today or anything you wanna share in the comments below. But I'm Tanner Bell, founder of MakersGonnaLearn.com, a digital die cutting community. So we are all about inspiring you guys to get your die cutting machines out and give you the tools to be able to make some really amazing projects all throughout the year for every occasion we are there to help you so i am super excited today because we are working on some really fun print and cut projects it is making this serving tray right here and how we're going to do that today is we're going to use dun, 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 print and cut i love print and cut it is one of my favorite favorite things to use and it is definitely something you need to know how to use if you have a Cricut Maker, a Cricut Explorer, no matter what die cutting machine you have, um, it probably has some form of print then cut or print and cut. Um, so you're going to love it. This is our highly recommended printer. That is the Canon TS8120. This printer is under a hundred dollars and you're gonna be able to do everything you need to when it comes to print and cut. We're also using Cricut printable vinyl today, which we highly, highly recommend and just truly love using. So I'm super excited. Um, Rachel, do we have anyone tuning in? Yes, Belinda Jolie Christie says hi. Karen says hello from Georgia. We've got Yay. Diana, Barbara, and Bonnet. They're all <gasps> Yay! Tuning. And I see Bonnet said she just purchased her Cricut Maker, and as soon as she receives it, she will sign up. Yay, you will love it. Guys, our membership, I want to just share with you guys real quick. If you're looking to join, here is our sign-up page. It is always the first link below. And you can just scroll down here. This first button is going to give you our year value. And the reason why it's a year value is let me share with you that real quick. Um, you're getting three months free compared to our monthly. So monthly is $19.99. Um, a year is $15.99. Build every 12 months. So with the year membership, you're getting everything you see on our sign up page, but you're also getting access to three of our e courses. Huge value. It's a $150 value. Um, if you're a member at the monthly level, you're going to get access to all of our digital cut files, a free commercial use license, access to our members only Facebook group, live streams, exclusive projects. This website has no ads. So all of our trainings, all of our cut files, no ads whatsoever for you guys at all. And we have a special pricing for our summit and our courses. So like if you are wanting to come to our virtual summit, I highly recommend being a member, whether at a monthly, six month or yearly option, because you're saving $90 on registration. <laughs> so seriously, a month member, you could download all our cut files, get your summit ticket and still have huge savings. So we really take care of our members and we love what we do. And if you have a die cutting machine, this is for you. Um, you can see here, this is your dashboard. Once you're a member, you know, you're able to save your $90 on sign up for the summit. This is where we house all of our die cutting um, files. We have the build a blog course, which is available to all members. And then we have these three courses, which are exclusive to your members. So if you just go over to the die cutting files, you're gonna see here, we have all of our amazing, amazing cut files. So we're working in the fall collection today. And if you're just tuning in with us, stay with us because we are about to jump into using print and cut to make this amazing, amazing project. It is a serving tray in this file is from the new fall collection. So you can see here, we have lots of fall images in here from SVGs to t-shirt designs, to print and cut, to, you know, pattern paper, everything. Um, the monogram collection, we have like 12, 13, 14. We have a huge array of collections here. We have a Christmas in July, a back to school, apparel, summer, mom and dad, spring, 
Life Celebrations, which is a huge one. We're using this one all the time. Like, I love that collection. Um, Valentine's Day, we have a whole maker collection. So it's files like created to create, let's make stuff. A lot of our members use these files to decorate their craft space and to create some amazing projects to wear. Our holiday collection, which is huge. This project right here, Rachel designed while I was out of town with Cricut. And Rachel, it's went viral on Pinterest. And yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cute though. I really, really like how that one turned out. Yes, so I have OCD obsessive Christmas disorder. And then the bonus holiday collection, which, so all of these you're able to get as soon as you become a member. If you are a member, run on over, get the fall collection because you're not gonna wanna miss making this project. So again, if you're looking to join, click that first link below. But are you guys ready to get crafty? What What has everyone else got going on today? Let me know. Everybody's saying hello. Um, tell them where they're from. And then we have um, the same viewer, Miss Shannon, who tunes in almost every live and Yay. always asks about a Disney collection. And tell her why Woo. we cannot do Disney collections. Okay. Shannon, we cannot use Disney trademarked images, but we can work on you some amazing Disney inspired files. And the more that you ask for it, the more you're making me do it. So continue to let us know what you would like to do um, and what images you would like to see because we're always needing that feedback. So definitely a Disney inspired collection can be something we, we work on. So thanks, Shannon. And then we have another question. Okay. Uh, Ms. Esmeralda says, can you use regular bond long fabric or does it have to be ironed? So Esmeralda, if you are looking for something to stay, if you're wanting something to stick, let me show you. This is one of our iron on t-shirts. It is going to be able to be washed. You're going to want to use that iron on, you know, this is going to stay with us. It's not coming off. If this was traditional vinyl, I would be able to peel it off. You know, vinyl is really made for wood surfaces, you know, anything um, like that, you know, porous surfaces, ceramics, wall decals, things like that. So you will not want to do that. Um, but today we're again working with the Cricut printable vinyl, and that is really what is going to make this project. So let me share with you guys right here what we've got going on. So I went ahead and uploaded this project into Cricut Design Space. It is super easy to go over to upload <clears throat> and upload the image um, and then you know do anything you need to with it. But I've already put it into Design Space and saved it as a print and cut. How you know your images are a print and cut image is a look right over here in this layers panel. It's, you're going to see that it is a printer. So that means it is going to print and then cut. So what we're gonna do is I've already got it to the size we want. Let's just click make it. And you see here, it's a print and cut. So it already has our registration box. And you can see here, it is, can only you know work with eight and a half by 11 right now. I would love for Cricut to expand that to do something you know like 12 by 12, but for right now, Print and cut is a pretty small size. So I'm just gonna press continue. And we're just going to go ahead and click send to printer. And we already have our Canon printer connected here. So we're just gonna press print. And I'll move the computer so we can watch the printer do its thing. Always, always, always be sure to use the rear tray. And let me explain to you why. So using the rear tray, it's just going to send it straight through. It's not going to flip up any of your vinyl or paper. So watch this. It's going to push right through. And Shannon wants to know how much is your membership? Our membership has three different levels. So our year members are going to get everything, access to our e-courses and everything, and that's billed annually. So $15.99 a month billed annually, but you can be a monthly member for as low as $19.99. Um, and that gives you access to like 500 plus plus images. I'm just gonna have to take a moment. Look at how amazing this is. So our membership has a ton of amazing print and cut images, which we love. And it is super awesome to be able to use these. I love that. So as soon as it prints out, all you do is you take it and I'm gonna move this tray. You're gonna see here we have this right here. We're gonna place it on the, we're just gonna go ahead and place it on our light grip mat. Now, if you all, you all know I use light grip for honestly everything, but something like this, I highly recommend using the light grip mat. Let's just make sure this is on there. And it dries really quick. Like you can touch this. There's no ink coming off. 
nothing you've ever need to worry about. I do worry about that, but I've never ran into an issue with it. You just kind of assume, right? So I'm gonna load that in. And someone's asking if this is printable vinyl. Yes, let's show them. This is the Cricut printable vinyl. We absolutely love this stuff. This stuff is amazing. You can pick this up at your favorite craft store. You can pick this up at Cricut.com using the link below um, to shop Cricut. And you can even use our code craft in your day for an additional 10% off and free shipping. So right here, Let's go back over. Now you're not going to see your material here. So we're gonna click browse all material and we're just gonna type in printable. And we're, you can see here there's um, clear printable sticker paper, printable fabric, printable foil, iron on printable magnetic, um, printable magnetic sheet, but we have just regular printable vinyl today and it's good to go. Now we could turn fast mode on if we want, but this is a pretty intricate image. So you know what? For Rachel, Rachel gets really nervous about using fast mode. Hello. <laughs> I don't know why, but for today's project, you know, I do say for those intricate cuts, you can see here on this project, it's going to get really intricate, right? Look at these intricate images um, that it's going to cut. And imagine guys, look at all of this. If we were going to have to do all of these different colors in vinyl, and layers. Oh. oh, the layers, right? It is so much easier to use your printer and let it do the hard work for us because I just want to make as many fall projects as possible. I have no interest in having to do, I don't know, I see like probably like seven different colors here. So let's just go ahead when it's ready to go. We're using Bluetooth, so it's connected via Bluetooth and we can just press the flashing Cricut button. But here's my thing, okay? So, and Miss Shannon, she said she doesn't want fast mode either. <laughs> what it does is, I feel like if Tanner asked me to do the job I'm doing 20 times faster, I feel like I'm not going to be able to complete that job as well as I want to. But now I know this is Cricut and it's designed to do that, but I mean, sometimes I get a little nervous. <laughs> Fast mode's awesome. I think for vinyl and iron-on, I'll always use it. Um, but with this printable vinyl and it being a print and cut, I just said, you know what? This is a live video. No need to really turn it on. So right now, if you've never used print and cut, watch that it's going through and it just read all of the registration marks. So now after it's read them, it's going to start cutting. So it's right up here and it's just going to start cutting out our amazing, amazing image. And look at how spot on this is. Now we did leave bleed on, so it bleeds a little on the image as you can see here, um, and that's totally normal. Um, we love turning, leaving bleed on. Look at it go, like this is so, such an intricate image, and that's why I told like myself I had to do this project live, just so that you guys could see how it's like to really get an amazing print and cut image. Because it does look intimidating. You when know, you see this does. project, like when you look at it, you do not think this is something you can do with your Cricut, yeah. but it is totally possible to do it. And it really is easy, like it's so easy. Um, so I love print and cut. I, I find new uses for it every day. And to be able to look at this serving tray and say, hey, you know, this is something I made with, made myself with a die cutting machine, it's unreal. So look at it go. It is already, um, you know, cutting away, which is awesome. So just look at it go. And for those of you that want to make money with your Cricut, yes. especially files like this and using print and cut, I mean, you could get, you know, get the tray and get, you know, the printable vinyl and mm -hmm. stuff. You could charge whatever you want to do <laughs> this tray. These I mean, people love the yes. core. Yes, they know? love it and they want to know if something's custom. And with our membership, you get your free commercial license, which is something I do not talk about near enough. You're getting a commercial license to use our artwork that we give to you and be able to, you know, like Rachel was saying, sell it on Facebook, sell it on Etsy, you know, be able to make things for whoever you would like. And we have a ton of members that are actually running really successful Etsy shops and local businesses creating t-shirts 
shirts, creating custom decor, um, and making things with their die cutting machine. So that's where a year membership is going to be awesome because you're also getting access to our build a business e-class. That is a five, um, oh, it's already done cutting. I thought I had more time. Um, it is five training videos that are an hour each seminar and it breaks down five big parts of running a business with your die cutting machine. So if that sounds up your alley, think about a year membership because you are definitely going to enjoy it. Um, and the free commercial license comes with any membership, whether it's a monthly, six month or yearly option. So we have a few different tiers to fit on um, what you can budget. So look at this, this is like traditional vinyl. I'm using my favorite tool. Look at, look at these perfect edges. I just wanna show you, this was print and cut. Okay guys, like can we just give print and cut like in a round of applause? Like give the video a thumbs up if you love print and cut. Again, it's an amazing print quality. I'm gonna rip it. And Miss Deborah wants to know what kind of printer we have. Oh, let's show and her. It's the, uh, I Canon love Canon. TS8 120. Yes, this one's less than a hundred dollars, guys. So you know we're always it trying scans, to do copies, prints. Yes. It does everything we need it to. Honestly, everything. So right here, we're just gonna slowly weed this out, and we're gonna be a little slow because it is vinyl. And this is a really intricate image. Like this is not something that I would traditionally, honestly, you know, cut. So this is a little more intricate, um, but I want to, you know, grow with my die cutting machine and use it more and more. So being able to do more intricate images like this is huge, right? And that is supposed to weed through the middle also. Yes, that's what I'm seeing the best way to weed through that because it's two separate images. Do, do, do. Oh, Belinda said, that's not the one that does 12 by 12 though, is it? No, it is not Belinda. But for what we do with print and cut, we really don't need a lot of 12 by 12 printing. But if you're a scrapbooker, if you're wanting to print your own paper, that is when we highly recommend, oh, oh look, here it is. I got the little, yay, I got it. Okay, anyway, um, that is when I would look at getting a 12 by 12 printer. But <clears throat> if you're just someone that's looking for some print and cut, you know, every now and again, like we do, um, this printer does everything you want. And it's just a good household printer as well. Like we use it, you know, Rachel was over here printing some of her uh, things for her wedding assignments. What do you call this, Rachel? Like the game plan for the um, wedding? Yeah, like a wedding itinerary <laughs> uh, itinerary timeline. Some vendors wanted it, so I was like, I'm gonna go and use the canon. <laughs> yeah, and we all use it. Like if you're, you know, printing out just literally everything, to-do list, supply list, tickets for concerts. I mean, just every household thing. Like this is the go-to printer here in the studio. So we love using it. And guys, look at how easy this is to weed. Like I did not realize how easy this vinyl was. I thought, you know, Rachel, I guess you may have thought the same thing. Like when you, when we first got this product, I was assuming, okay, I'll use this to make labels. Or st yeah, anything stickers. Sticker, you know, yeah, I didn't really expect. I did not expect to be able mm -hmm. to do this intricate of project um, this easily. But so there's a ton of possibilities with this stuff, you know, you just gotta get creative. Right, and that's what we're, that's what we're here to do to help you guys. So we're testing it for you. You're gonna see what's, you know, what really jobs in your world and you can just implement it. So I'm just going to go, notice how I'm going section by section. This is very intentional because as you can see here, some of this vinyl does wanna come up. So that's why we're going nice and slow. Um, but this is something, again, never really thought of. And Miss Michelle wants to know, Hi, can Michelle. you use print and cut on the Explorer? Yes, so you, whatever, you know, machine you have, print and cut will work great with it. If you watch last night's live stream, I was really talking about how, you know, I use the maker a ton, but you do not have to have a maker to do like a majority of the projects that we really love to do here, as well as with our membership. You know, we, a lot of people email us saying, Tanner, do I have to have a maker to be part of the membership? And the answer is no. Whatever die cutting machine you have is the one we want you to use. So this little flower, Look at this, this is gonna be intricate. Oh my goodness. Karen wants to know, did you do the plaid in the bottom of the tray? No, so this is a tray. Is there a tag or label on where we picked this up from? I wanna say probably Target. We love some Target yep. dollar spot decor and I know each Target has a little different decor, but we think that is where we got ours from. I mean, you could definitely do this with, you know, oh, jumbo my gosh. Card stock and an ATG gun. Definitely. Yes, Rachel, we've taught Rachel the ways with the 
the um, ATG gun in cardstock. So just again, working section by section really slow. Oh, do you say heck with this flower? No, I'm coming back to it. I okay. just want it to be my last piece. Gotcha. It's just so intricate. So right here, just taking this. Oh, Vivian wants to know how well does the printable vinyl wash? Ooh, um, I would not think this is something you want to put food or anything on. This is, no. I would 100% say this is decorative. Mm -hmm. um, very much decorative. But guess what, guys? If you wanted to, we have some upcoming projects talking about how to make something like this permanent. So we have a video talking about serving trays that we could make it very washable. And I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek since we're hanging out today. Um, we are just going to teach you how to use resin in your projects. So really how to turn something, you know, this would be a great example. So maybe we'll feature it. Something like this with um, printable vinyl would be amazing. So just going to get this right here, just like so. And we have one more piece. Look at this. Look at that. And I think we've got this just a off. few more. Yep. So there's just very a few little p more pieces that we want to get out. But look at this, guys. I know you all are way more patient than I am when it comes to, you know, weeding. So this would be an amazing project for anyone that is okay with weeding. And look, as impatient as I am, I th I'm pretty proud of myself. I think. Alicia said, so I shouldn't use print and cut on a shirt. Um, no, you'll want to use printable iron-on. Hello. You'll love the printable iron-on. Um, it's really fun to use. Rachel created um, a really fun project with donuts um, from our monogram collection. So highly recommend checking that out if you haven't. And then um, Belinda said, could you seal uh, this, not the printable, yes. uh, with Mod Podge that's dishwasher safe or would that bubble the vinyl as well? No, I think that would be a great solution. It, I am not a huge fan of the um, Mod Podge printable or the excuse me, the washable Mod Podge, just because it hasn't been a great experience for me. But if you love it and you've had some good experiences with the vinyl or cardstock in general, I don't, I don't see why it wouldn't work for this as well. So, okay, we got that's one more piece. And him, this one oh, right here. Yes. I was seeing if it cut through. No. It didn't cut right there? It did not cut right there, so it's fine. Um, but here we go. Okay, so I think we got everything. Look at this. It is all through. And now what we're going to do is grab transfer tape and we're going to transfer it on just like so. It's a pretty large piece. I'm going to trim just a, just a part off just because it's easier to use transfer tape with a little less. So you're not having to control a ton. So I'm going to trim it just one more time. But guys, what are we got going on this Wednesday? Are you all going home? Is anyone at work? Um, is anyone ready to get crafty tonight? Let us know in the comments. So, okay guys, as always, I start my transfer tape in the middle, just like so. Hannah says she's late in the lab because she was trimming her dog's nails, but this is way more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, how are you doing? Oh my goodness. So we are just, if you're just tuning in like Hannah, we are working on an amazing tr serving tray with print and cut. We are using our Cricut printable vinyl, which we love. Our images from makersgonnalearn.com, which is this beautiful image. And you've been seeing it all over the YouTube channel. So after we've applied it, what we're going to do, is we're just go peel it up. And again, we're just going to make sure it's adhered down. Alicia said she's currently sitting in her craft room trying to get some inspiration. Well, here you go, honey. Let's get crafty. Get some print and cut going. We love this. It is so easy. And look, oh, Rachel, let's get close up on this just so we can show this right here. Wow. I love how easy it is to transfer. Rachel and I was honestly a little worried just to double triple check this isn't the part i'm worried about this is not the part rachel honestly was a little worried that our vinyl and the transfer tape would come up but i yeah, told I'm her about this part i told her we just gotta have faith in it uh jessica says can you use printable vinyl on a pillow 
uh, printable vinyl. You are, but again, we would probably recommend using printable iron-on. So remember guys, they have printable vinyl and iron-on. So use printable iron-on for any materials, any shirts, any pillows. But if it's a tray, if it's um, a piece of wood, a sign, use vinyl. So we're just gonna lightly varnish this. See how it's going. Okay, I thought I could just lightly go with it. Oh no. So see, we're having some color. It's not wanting to, are we using the wrong transfer tape? That no, would not I be good. I think it's because when you pull it off the mat, you just like rip it one way. Mm, you think so? Yep. I didn't think it at the time. So here we go. I think once we get it started, we should be smooth sailing on. Over Joey on the side. said she's babysitting her two-year-old grandson. I love that. Uh, Hannah said, "Was all the vinyl tops on sale at Michaels?" <gasps> yes, like Cricut, everything. We were able to get Cricut accessories. All I, I don't know about the other brands because honestly, like. I'm, I'm just only looking at cricket stuff um, ever. Um, but yeah, no, we got a ton of good stuff. I was telling Rachel all the good stuff I picked up and how much I missed her yesterday. Gosh, it was it was hard shopping around without her. I made a lot more loops around the store. But he called me and, you know, asked for a supply list <laughs> and things like that. Anything Rachel needed, you know, I told her how good the sales were. And if you have not headed over and used the the little special deal that I was sharing in the membership group, head on over to learn about that in the face, the membership Facebook group, because you are going to want to use that offer and get it. So I'm just going real slow and notice that I'm peeling really tightly. Um, this is a great example of when you want to peel tightly. It's looking great. Yeah. Look at this. It's just these small edges that you'll want to be careful about. Mm -hmm. D said um, their biggest problem with vinyl is getting it to come off as well. Yeah, and it's okay. You know, again, you want to go slow with this because it is a very intricate project. Like this is not something that, you know, like our typical quick and easy. Um, this is a little bit more advanced project, which I think with, if you all have been watching my videos, like, and you've been making the projects, this is a perfect time to kind of advance up your crafting. You know, we always want to be growing as people, growing as crafters. Um, so this is a great project to step up your game. So if you're looking for, you know, something to like Alicia, looking for some creative um, ideas and things, this would be great. Oh, I'm gonna move it over so I can make sure we can stick this down. Do, do, do. And Alicia, she, Alicia said she got inspired. She Yay! is going to do some reverse tie-dye. <gasps> Ooh, I love that. That is awesome. I hope you all are getting crafty. If you're not, be sure to make some time this weekend. We are gonna have some more craft ideas coming for you this week. So we are super excited. Notice how if it's wanting to stick, you can kind of use this to make sure it stays down. Cause this is the first time we've ever done transfer tape with the printable. Yeah, this was one of our first projects that we tackled this. So we have already tested it and got you know, made sure that we knew the process for you guys. And it is, you know, again, super easy. Sue said, my Cricut software or device stopped working in the middle of cutting my project. Mm -hmm. Is it lost? Um, you may want to just go back and reset it. Um, just do like a calib recalibrate your software and make sure it connects right back. So look at this guys. We have an amazing serving tray, as you can see here look at this oh my goodness i love 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 now i have two serving trays yay look at this you guys we made this what is our time rachel how long did it take us to make this 30 minutes 30 minutes i'm serious we did everything we were able to whoop i caught it we were able to set it up in design space print it out 
cut it, weed it, and transfer it to make some really fun DIY serving trays for this fall. You guys are going to love this project. If you have not went over to check out our membership site, makersgonnalearn.com, be sure to head on over so you can get access to this exact same file because you can pick up a tray like this. They have them all over from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Michaels has stuff like this. Um, you can find them at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, um, Joann's. Jo uh, you could find it also at like Target. We love Target. So you can always pick up the different serving trays. And sometimes the dollar store you can look out there. Rachel too. has way better um, like eyes at the dollar store than me. So yes, you can. I highly recommend checking out all of those different places that you're able to find different things to be able to upgrade and turn something basic into something really cool using your die cutting machine. And we just absolutely love using the Cricut printable vinyl. So if you're looking to pick some of this up, be sure to check out the shop Cricut link down below and at checkout, use the code craft in your day. That is craft in your day, all one word and you'll get 10% off plus free shipping. That's a special thank you that Cricut gave to our viewers. And that just lets them know that we're inspiring you guys to stay creative with their products. So again, if you have not headed over to join Makers Gonna Learn, click that first link below, head on over and learn how you're able to get hundreds of digital cut files as an instant download so that you're able to see um, all of the digital cut files and have access to all of our um, member um, like gifts and different things. So you can see here we have all of our collections and all you do if you want to download a collection is just click on it. So you click on the collection and it'll instantly download right here and you'll have that collection in a zip file so it's organized really well. We give you PNG and SVG so you can see here within minutes of joining you'll have access to all your files but guys are there any other questions anything else we can do for you today no everybody's just giving a Yay. lot of love for the project awesome thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and we'll be back very soon to hang out some more happy crafting guys see ya